I'm the head archivist, which means that I look after the documentary history of Wadston and the Wadston estate and the Wastchild family at Wadston. I'm a craft gardener here at Wadston. Um, I work in the Manor Grounds team. So I'm the volunteering manager and I've been here for five years now. So it's my role to look after all the volunteers, of which are about 400. So I'm the assistant catering supervisor in the stables and food to go areas around Watson. We both work in the collections department and we're both conservation assistants. My role is head of learning and partnerships. So I look after the formal schools program and I look after the foundation's community engagement events as well. I'm the managing director of Rothschild Wadston Limited, which is the trading company of Wadston. So that's retail, catering, hotel, private events and public events. So five different businesses make up our trading company and all of our profits get covenanted back to the charity. I did, yes. So I'm from a family of teachers um, and I always knew I wanted to work with children, but they advised me not to teach. So I used to go with my dad to travel trade fairs because he used to be the um, group tour operator for his school um, and I used to see people from castles and stately homes advertising education programmes and I thought oh I'd quite like to do that so actually from quite an early age I always knew I wanted to be in heritage education. I worked out quite quickly um, during my degree that I wanted to work in heritage so I did um, a museum studies master's um, straight after my bachelor's degree. I moved from local government to come to Wadston eight years ago but I've always enjoyed visiting National Trust houses and museums and galleries so to be able to put the two of those together was quite exciting. Um, I actually worked uh, in the prison service for the NHS for seven years prior to this. Um, I've always loved history and I took a career break from that um, and thought what, what do I want to do, um, was having afternoon tea at the Five Arrows because I love Wadston, I've always loved Wadston, always visited here as a child and my mum said why didn't you ask for a job so I literally walked in and said have you got a job and they said yes can you start tomorrow. The highlight of working at Wadston for me is being in this environment. Too many to mention. Working with the team, we've got a really great team. Um, I'd say we're more friends as well as colleagues. And there's not many places that you work where every day over the summer somebody tells you how amazing everything looks and what a good job you're doing. Definitely meeting all the people at work here um, in a voluntary capacity. Um, as I said, there's 400 of them and they're all very unique and individual people. Uh, and it always amazes me how much time they give, they give us. I get to do a lot of the events like Chili Fest, Summer Fest, the wine dinners, evenings. I think it's just working with such an extraordinary collection. Every day I get to see the North Front in its entirety and it still uplifts me nearly 10 years after starting here. I would say volunteer. <laughs> Definitely get some experience, um, volunteer in the um, place that you would love to end up working, learn as much as you can and just go for it. Be quite lateral in the way you think about it because there are so many opportunities. Um, if like me you could be commercial or you could be creative or technical, there, there's, there's just thousands of different jobs so be really open-minded about how you approach working in heritage. So I would say that whatever your skill set or you know even if you haven't gone to university even if you don't know how to get into working in heritage property property just start somewhere so come and work here for a Saturday the people you meet you can volunteer in the collections team and what you can go on to do is so much bigger so just pick one and follow your dream really I suppose.